Hi, in this video I have an Elba oven. I'm going to be demonstrating how to replace this seal. The seal came packaged as follows and I assume that is the part number. On the new seal you should see these metal flanges sticking out along the travel. There's one, there's another one. These metal flanges need to be inserted in the holes along the face. That means that in order to remove the old one I need to pull out those metal pieces. In order to get it out I just pull upwards. This is the reason why I'm changing my seal in the first place. As you can see, the seal is not damaged. This is the old seal. Before I insert the new seal here, I'm just going to clean the surface with an alcohol cleaner. This is a rubbing alcohol. Just use something that can clean the area. Right, there's a little bit of residue of some burnt food here. It's quite important to get that off because as this heats up, it does deteriorate the surface of the new seal. And that is why I'm cleaning the surface to get rid of any of this burnt residue. I want my seal to mate directly with the surface without anything in between. Once you're happy with the surface preparation, I can now hold the new seal and just check that the alignment is correct. I hold the seal in place to determine that the orientation is correct. This is a rectangular seal. Now the seal is directional because on the top there's one hole. So this spur-like piece, this metal piece that's sticking out, notice it goes into the hole. But on the bottom I have two. Therefore on the seal I must make sure that the bottom is the section with the two metal pins sticking out. Right, so I'm inserting the one in the middle. It is directional. It goes like that. And I'm starting over here. And I know this is the top because as I said, on the top there's only one hole, whereas on the bottom there's two holes. So I've aligned the seal where only the one pin is on the top. Right, so in this oven I've ascertained that the one piece is over here. Now the question is which way does this go? Does it go like that or does it go like that? Now this is very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first try the one way and see. So I put this over here and notice that is directional. So if I hook it in there, then I must go in this direction. So I'll pull this going like that. And now I'm at this corner and I see that this is the wrong way around. The orientation is the wrong way around, which means that I've got this one backwards. So what that means is when it was like that, it was actually wrong. So now what I'm doing is I'm twisting it and facing it in the other direction. So what that does is it actually flipped the corner. And now I can see that this orientation is correct. So all I need to do is pull it a bit tight and hook this steel pin into the hole over here. Right. I now follow it along its travel and I hook the one at the bottom. I continue at the bottom. There's the metal pin and there's the hole. I just pull it and let it seat. Notice that it's quite snug. I'm now at the next one and I notice it is facing the other direction. So I'll leave that for last. I'm now back at the top and I'm pulling on this one and I'm going towards the corner. I'm now at the corner and I'm just hooking this in place. I'm now here at the bottom and I'm hooking it in place. And there is the very last one and I just need to pull it and lock it in place. Right, so there's the seal. I just go around one more time just making sure that each one of those metal pins is seated correctly. On some units you might find that it's not a complete unit. It's just in the shape of an N. Follow the same principles that I've demonstrated in the video, except for you'll have one side that is open. And I've successfully replaced the old seal with a new seal. Thanks for watching and cheers.